Let's hear it though. This is his, Joe Rogan's on his lib arc. What do you think that is about? Like, what is this? It's not just abortion rights, but now they're going after gay marriage too, which is so strange to me. Oh, it's so strange. It's like, bro, it's strange to you if you think that the Republican Party is not built around cruelty. The Democratic Party is built around virtue signaling, and the Republican Party is built around cruelty, racial agitprop, and cruelty. That's it. But both of those parties are essentially playing a role in their in their you know they're they're they're, they're doing theater. Both of these parties are uh, are a part of a theater play. Okay, ultimately, that's it. But you have to, at the very least, recognize I mean, that the Republican that. Party's role in that theater play is about being as cruel as possible to marginalized people and use them as a red herring. Society's crumbling because the West is, is falling apart as a consequence of immigration. Society's crumbling because Western supremacy is no longer in existence because Western civilization is falling apart because of homosexuality and, and moral decay and moral degeneracy. That's what Republicans advocate for. So of course they're gonna do all this shit. Marco today. Rubio was saying that it was like a silly thing to argue about, to, to be concerned about. And then some other uh, senator who is a gay woman confronted him and she was furious at it because a gay marriage is not silly it's what marriage it's marriage from people that are homosexual and it's less than for them years. it's important they, they want it they want it they want to affirm their love and their relationship and the fact that they're going after that now almost makes me feel like they want us to fight they want to divide us in the best way they can and that like the hmm that this is the best way for them to keep pulling off all the bullshit they're doing behind the scenes is to get us to fight over things like gay marriage or get us to fight over things like abortion. Or you don't say. What? That's crazy. No way. That is so shocking. Color me surprised. What? How? Um, what? That's oh, never. Never that. I would never think that that's the case. Yeah, no shit, dude. It's just like, yes. why Why yes. are you removing freedoms? Yes. And, you know, and then this new thing where they're, you know, gun rights, like trying to go after the Second Amendment. I wonder if Joe Rogan will ever think about his own personal role in the culture war as a, as a mechanism of divisiveness. What about you, though? My friend, what the conclusion that Joe Rogan just arrived at is what I've been advocating for the past 10 years. Okay. That these wedge issues, I talked about it on the Anthony Padilla interview. I talked about it time and time again. I have been talking about it for fucking 10 years. That ultimately, Americans agree on a lot more than they disagree on, especially as it pertains to social issues. And the idea of social issues being the only reason, uh, the only fucking primary motivator to, to separate between these two teams in our bourgeois capitalist electoral system, is because it free. takes away from the material realities. Democrats refuse to offer material restitution. Republicans are always going for uh, additional uh, uh, cruelty. They both agree on, um, the, both parties ultimately agree on our endless imperial conquests overseas, bombing brown people, okay? We always agree on deregulating certain aspects of the industry. We always agree, both parties always agree on fucking tax cuts for the wealthy and corporations. This is a fundamental part of my advocacy. And if you don't recognize that, that's because you've been duped into thinking that I have not been saying this and I'm only playing my role crying all the time about Republicans, Republicans. I shit on Democrats so much that motherfuckers literally think I'm a Republican. There are people that have come into this community thinking that I was a goddamn Republican for like a week before they realize like, holy shit, what is your political perspective? <sighs> anyway, let's continue. You know, you see that story that recently happened where there's a shooter in a mall? Wait, can we say something about the gay marriage gun? real quick? Yeah, please. Like, if you're going to say that marriage is an important cultural institution to the hassle. fabric of America, right. you can't remove it to from Americans. When I first heard of you, it was a TikTok that said, there was a world where I never discovered Hasanabi and stayed a liberal, and I thought you were a Republican, Lamau. That was me. I unfollowed you at first, but eventually tried you again and got to know you. 21 month subscriber. Look at this. Loving this Andrew Tate art. Right. You can't go and say, this is important. This is what we do. We create a family and we love one another. And this is right. how we express our love. And then say, ah, oh, these Americans can't do that shit. 
It's so, so homophobic because you're saying there's something wrong with being homosexual. Ooh, yo, uh, oh, 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 whoa, whoa, you, whoa, 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 Joe. Seems like you're virtue signaling, man. This argument that Joe is arriving at can be extended to pretty much all the other culture war issues that he plays a role in, okay? You are opposed to gay marriage. You're saying you're opposed to gay people. Yeah. Because if gay people are in love with each other That's and they want to like, have a celebration and mm -hmm. they want to be legally bonded and connected, and there's all sorts of benefits to that in terms of- Financial like, benefits. Financial benefits, like You build taxes, it into the system, yeah. But not only that, like if your loved one is in jail, or uh, not in jail, well that's- On that trial, too. you can't- Or, or yeah. I was going to say in, in a hospital. Oh, like, that's right. You, you have can, access to them. Yeah. You have access to them. Yeah. And your loved one is in gay jail. You're the only one that has access to them because you're their spouse. You, you're the one who has power of attorney if they're, you know, incapacitated. Like, this, like yeah. there's a lot to, like, affirming that relationship. Yeah. And the fact that they're going after that Jack now, today, like, that's the kind of shit that keeps me from being a Republican. Yeah. It's only one of the kind of, there's a bunch of shit. I love that, dude. He's like... You know, if the Republicans weren't as, like, uh, aggressive uh, about, like, as open about their homophobia, like, I'd probably be a Republican. That's awesome. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> it keeps you from being yeah. a Republican. Yeah. But that's one of the, like, people will say, like, oh, you know, you're a secret conservative. I'm like, you could suck my dick. He's not a secret conservative. He's an open conservative. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> yeah. I'm so far away from being a Republican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because I believe in the Second Amendment and just because I support the military and just because yeah. I support police. Yeah. Like, I was on welfare. Bro, brother, the reason why people think you're a conservative is because of your advocacy about, like, the I shit know. that he said about homeless people, the shit that he said about, like, fucking laziness. Like, this is a direct contradiction uh to to exactly what he said like last week when he was talking about how like laziness is is happens when people get money for free you, you i mean look i don't want to push people like this away okay and i do believe that joe rogan much like many of these other people have certain empathetic qualities that uh that that you know put them in the the i guess progressive side okay is this an old video or new? No, this is new. But people that are saying like, oh, maybe he'll change. Maybe he'll change. No, he's going to have like Ben Shabibo back on next week and then fucking, you know, say the most insane, idiotic bullshit again. Bro, he said this plenty of times, too. It's more about what he's presenting himself as recently. I don't give a fuck if you're on welfare years ago. Now, this sh now shit on homeless people. Yeah as a kid <laughs> yeah, yeah, i think yeah. it's important i yeah. think so, having a social safety net is it's great crucial. Yes. it's crucial yeah. Yeah. we should help each other we're yeah. supposed to be one big community i'm a bleeding heart liberal when it comes to, to a lot of shit there it is. i just also believe in discipline and hard work yes that's where yeah I no that's what you're right i i i forgot it's the leftists and progressives fucking hate discipline and hard work famously they're always like, oh man, I fucking hate hard work and I, mean, I hate discipline. I've enjoyed every minute yeah. of it. Thank you, Hassan, for educating Like These are all of us like has. universal values that you are just ascribing to the fucking conservative movement for no fucking reason, dude. That's so insane. I'm I'm sorry. I just I despise that, dude. I, I straight up I, I fucking can't. Laziness is not a quality that is associated with a left or right, okay? That's not a thing. That's not a thing. So tall on Andrew. There are plenty of fucking hogs that are lazy as fuck, okay? Just like there are plenty of uh, leftists that are lazy as fuck. Democrats incentivize laziness. Yeah, dude, you're right. You're right, Scruff Gruff. That's totally true. Democrats incentivize laziness. Why? With social safety nets? Is that how? Is that how they do it? Dude, people that say stuff like this are so funny because you're on, you're in Twitch chat. Which means, like, you're not even one of those fucking billionaires or millionaires that's going to benefit from crippling the social safety nets and then awesome and then uh, getting a nice little tax the break at the tippy top uh, end of that. Like, you're you are so you are suckling on the billionaire boot so fucking hard that you unironically are advocating uh, for their propaganda. You're advocating for their days. better material we'll conditions for them. For a couple of weeks. For rich people don't Hope even fucking work. What are you talking about? Exactly. Off. There's a certain point that you get to with your finances where your money makes money for Almost you. two years, Paul. Okay? And there are so many people that are at that point. Those people are lazy, but society has wired your brain into thinking, oh, he has money, so he's working hard. 
because meritocracy is a lie told to you since birth. I fall into the more conservative side. And but that's I'm okay. Not, yeah, but I'm not a person who wants to like keep all my money but, and not pay taxes. Like People have accused me of moving to Texas because I didn't want to pay taxes. No. So when are you at that that's point? Like, Am I at a point where my money could make more money for me? Absolutely. 100%. I don't do it because I'm brain broken and I love this. I love doing this and I don't need to do that. Hassle. But yes, of course I am. But it's funny when people say like, oh dude, what, you know, look at what you're doing. Look at your financial predicament. It's like, bro, I'm literally in front of you for eight to 10 hours every day. I sh I'm streaming on a Sunday, brother. What do you think is going on? Five whole months since Russia invaded Ukraine. It's not like I can, I'm not hiding it. Like, it's not like I'm taking like a fucking two month vacation or some shit. And then I come back and I'm like, all right, time to work again. And it would be totally valid if I wanted to do that as well. I, I, I love this shit. I love my community. I value it immensely. I owe everything to you guys. So this doesn't feel like real fucking work. And the main point is I want to make sure. I want to make sure that everyone has opportunities like this. I want to make sure that everyone can have a future like this. I want to make sure that everyone can have emotionally satisfying, fulfilling, meaningful work. Okay, and get paid adequately, get compensated for the actual labor that you put in and have more autonomy over your own life. That is at the heart of leftist values. That is at the heart of Marxism. Okay, people often misunderstand Marxism. They say, oh, it's collectivism. It's collectivism. Like it, it doesn't care about the individual. No, dude, it's collective action yeah. so that individual freedoms can be uplifted. How can you claim to be a free person in the United States of America when we house or shackle rather 25% of the world's entire incarcerated population? How can you say you're truly free when you totally are shackled that. with debt just so you can become a more productive worker, okay, in the form of college debt, in the form of student loan debt, an amenity afforded to the average citizen in most other OECD nations, okay? How can you say you're truly free when your employment is directly tied to your health care? How can you say you're free? Are you really free? You spend 80% of your adult lives, many of you are young right now, so you're not there yet, but when you get older, you're going to spend 80% of your adult lives working at facilities, working at corporations where you have no say over what you wear, what you can say, what you can do, what you, uh, what you can and can't do, you, there's your haircut, okay? You will have no say over that whatsoever out of the fear that if you don't fucking, if you don't follow whatever your manager or your boss is saying, you might lose your job. And if you lose your job, you lose any opportunity you have to put a fucking shelter over your head. You, put, you lose any opportunity you have to put food on your table, clothes on your back. And more importantly than all of that, healthcare. How can you say you're truly free when that is the reality that you exist under? You're not. They've just lied to you and they've said that you're free and you think that you're free, but you're not free. You have no freedom whatsoever. Black pilled for another month. Okay. The only freedom you have is a false notion that you either work and have no say over your own lives whatsoever or die, starve and die. Let's continue. No, I moved to Texas because I want fucking freedom. <laughs> what a perfect way to end that clip. Now, Joseph Robinette Rogan, obviously, he has freedom because he's a fucking multimillionaire.